So you've gone to the hairstylist and your hair is nice and curled and you want to keep the curls for as long as possible. So let me show you how to tie your hair up. Okay. So let me show you some pin curls and I'm going to uh, move in a little bit closer so you can see. So with pin curls, what you have to do is you have to get a section of hair and basically take two to three fingers, depending on how large you want the curl to be, and just wrap the hair around your fingers to create kind of like a circle, like so, and then you just place it flat to your head. And it does not have to be perfect. And then you take a good bobby pin and secure the pin curl to your head. Just like that. And then you do that all around your head. You can do as many as you want or you can do just a few. So I'm going to take this next section and do the same thing. So I got three fingers here and I'm just going to wrap the hair around my fingers and I'm going to place that onto the head flat to the head and then secure it with a bobby pin. And you can use more than one bobby pin if you want to just to make sure it stays in place. Another section. And you don't have to comb the hair like I'm combing. You can just kind of smooth it out. And then I'm gonna take my three fingers and wrap the hair around my fingers. Not too tight, because if you do it too tight, then you won't be able to take your fingers out. And I'm just gonna secure the hair to the head with a bobby pin. Now, the more of the pin curls you make, the curlier your hair will be, the springier it will be. The bigger the pin curls, or the less you make, then it's gonna be more curly wavy. Here we go again. And I'm gonna secure that with the bobby pin. So it looks like I have like two more sections to do. And I'm going all the way around the head, three fingers, or you can do two, just depends. Just make sure that when you um, curl it around your fingers, it's not too tight because you want to be able to take it off of your fingers without pulling and tugging. Let's do that again. I'm wrapping it around. I'm wrapping it around my fingers. And then I'm taking it off of my fingers and I'm securing it to the head flat and securing it with a bobby pin. And this section, since it's a little bit bigger, it needs to. Wrap it around the three fingers. Secure it to the head flat and then secure it with the bobby pin. There you go. So we have a few sections there. And at this time, you can either put a satin scarf on 
or my favorite, the bonnet, because it's easier. And the bonnet stays on really well. But I'm gonna be using flexi rods. And I'm going to part the hair in sections. Three or four sections to do, depending on the length and thickness of the hair. Let me clip it up. And I'm just going to go on ahead and roll the hair around the flexi rod. And then clip it together. And I'm going to do that again with another section. And then I'm going to take two more sections and the sections don't have to be perfect. <laughs> I'm just rolling the hair under with the flexi rods. It's that simple. We have four sections. One, two, three, four. And afterwards, and it'll be fairly easy to sleep because you can sleep on your sides. And afterwards, you just place your bonnet on. Thank you for your assistance, Tierra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Place your bonnet on. In the morning time, you take out the rollers and you have a nice soft set. <laughs> 